everybody. Happy New Year. Could you use some good news? Well, how about this for a start? Scientists at MIT have discovered and experimentally demonstrated a new form of magnetism. Prior to this discovery, there were two main types of magnetism known. The first, ferromagnetism, is the kind we're most familiar with in everyday life, the kind that makes refrigerator magnets work. The second type, anti-ferromagnetism, is something I'm not smart enough to explain. This new third state occurs in what scientists call a quantum spin liquid, or a QSL. A QSL is a solid, but with a magnetic state that is liquid, with the magnetic states of its constituent particles constantly changing. This work is still in the very early stages, so practical applications of this newly discovered form of magnetism aren't readily apparent yet, but a physics professor at MIT close to the study speculates that one day it may be used as the basis for a new form of communications or data storage. How about this one? Thanks to the efforts of a former student, public school students in the city of New Orleans and Orleans Parish school districts will no longer be taught creationism in their science classes. That former student is Zach Coplin. He's now a sophomore in college. When he was a sophomore in high school in 2008, the state of Louisiana enacted its Science Education Act, which allowed creationism to be taught alongside evolution in public schools. Zach eventually made repealing the law his senior project, and in 2011 convinced a state senator to introduce a bill to repeal the act. So far, the repeal bill has failed to pass the state senate, but Zach's efforts have encouraged the school districts of the city of New Orleans and, a week or so before Christmas, Orleans Parish to act on their own to ban the religion-based pseudoscience of creationism from their classrooms. Finally, astronomers studying a nearby star in the same class as our sun have discovered five planets, including one in the star's habitable zone. The star is Tau Ceti, which a few of you might recognize as the home system of the Traveler in Star Trek The Next Generation. A team of astronomers from the United Kingdom, Chile, Australia, and the United States used new data modeling techniques to analyze thousands of observations and discovered evidence of five planets orbiting Tau Ceti, including one in the star's habitable zone, which has a mass estimated to be about five times that of our own planet Earth. Sounds big, but it's actually the smallest planet yet discovered in the habitable zone of another star. More importantly, it's yet more evidence that Earth-like planets at distances from their suns that could allow life as we know it to exist may be a common feature in our galaxy. A new kind of magnetism discovered, creationism kicked out of some Louisiana classrooms, and an Earth-like world discovered orbiting a nearby sun. Not a bad way to close out 2012. And that's the good news. Papa picked you up for the video. You're mad at Papa for picking you up for the video. Why won't you talk to me? It kills me when you don't talk to me. <laughs>